Hi there. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple mail merge tool. Using this tool, you can generate letters in bulk, print letters in bulk, and send emails in bulk with the attachment as the letters. In many scenarios, we come across generating bulk letters, uh, for example, sending uh, notice letters to the uh, clients or sending uh, different type of letters to the clients or to your employees generating the appraisal letters um, any any kind of letter in bulk we can use this tool it's very simple to use um, here the cells with the green are what you are going to input only these fields and click on generate letters it will go to generate letters for you so for this purpose we have to create a template what format you need a letter I created a sample format for a notice on the mortgage uh, notifying their clients for the increase in the percentage of uh, rate rate percentage so here is the template I created <coughs> and uh, you can see these are variables like city one the mortgage file means the mortgage where it has been um, obtained is the city one uh, property city as I marked it as city two the first name of the client last name of the client zip code of the client and uh, where it has been signed the mortgage agreement and then what is the increase in the in the dollars that will happen from the next month and what's the total the client has to pay this is the letter that has been simple letter that has been generated now uh, in the Excel in the tool what I did is I just uh, check uh, two, two only two clients for uh, simplicity in the demo purpose and uh, here you can see first name last name city city of mortgage the company where it has been signed EMI monthly current and then increase in the current rate the total of this and the client email this information I have imported into the Excel file and I marked this these values as the map map between the template and the Excel file instead of first name what I have written here is the two angular bracket F name and the two closing angular brackets I use those one here F name similarly L name wherever I need those data I just mark them put the values that I have inputted here in this row 5 those values if the city 2 I have inputted here that's it only this much we need to do and now click on generate letters what it will do is this is the uh, tool that's more, more mail merge dot xls and this is the template what I did is I just inputted the template dot doc name of the template. Uh, the please note that this template file has to be in the along with this mail must tool. Only that is required. <clears throat> and then when we save the document, it needs certain name. So what name it should save? So we mention it here. I mentioned it as F name, the first name. Take this column as the first name or the first name of the employee and the last name of the employee mark this as a document name so i just need an output type as a pdf or word it can generate pdf or word and pdf can work only in the ms office versions 2007 or latest 2007 2010 2013 2016 versions and this works in windows only this is not uh, developed for mac version of the uh, operating system so only these four information we just need to put in and just click on generate letters it's generating now so it has generated the letters you can see in the same place it has generated created a folder called letters with the year month date hours minutes and seconds folder you can see that I just, since I selected only the word it generated me only the word file so when you open up you can see all those values the first name is mark 
and the molar the, this is the one you can see this first record here it has mark underscore molar mark underscore taylor it has created two files uh, for individual uh, clients it has replaces all these values the expected payment date so this is how uh, it generates the letters now let's create one more with a pdf option i'll delete this one this folder now i'll create one more with the pdf option now in this option it will generate pdf as well as word both the files now i'm clicking on generate letters it started generating and it's done now can we'll go back and see the two versions i'll open up the pdf version you can see this pdf file generated this is about generating the letters now this tool also has a feature where you can print the letters for printing it's the same thing you just need to print here click on print letters it will show that default printer settings will be used but we'll get an option to change the printer settings now after clicking on ok so after clicking on this second message box you will get a word file opened here with the printer settings i'm clicking on this ok now we have a word file with the printer setting open here you can select any number of copies required or uh, any different type of printer you wanted to use i selected this printer uh, my printer settings are different so i'll get a uh, different messages so now i'll click on ok once i click on ok it will start printing you can see the printers <coughs> printer is popping up in my settings printer will pop up for every print so it's it printed it started to give me a pop up so printing has started you can see this one printing page now for the second printing it again asks me for start printing so like this way you can print hundreds of prints without any human intervention uh, without any human intervention you can keep on printing the prints so this is how the printing works so it has uh, completed the printing now it's done now the send emails you can also send as a emails as an attachment with these files now these files are generated 512 it is this is the latest file so these two files are generated now we can use these files for uh, sending out uh, the emails also so for the emails make sure that we have to set up how the email should go what should be the subject of the email what should be the body text of the email for that you can click on email setup you can select either outlook or smtp smtp you can use any smtp like your gmail hotmail yahoo any kind of smtp as long as you have the security settings enabled in their account or you can use your own company smtp settings with the secured ssl or tls settings only smtp with the secured SSL or TLS settings. Now I will show you a demonstration on using Outlook. So the email ID that I used is uh, my own info at mailmerge.in for both of them. So I have opened up my email account here. So I cleaned up all my emails for this demo purpose. Right now there are no emails. What I'll do is because uh, it's an outlook I selected it, the emails will be sent through my outlook my outlook is also open here So through my outlook it will send the emails to the client email So I put my own email as a client email so it should go to this email account uh, So my settings in this here is whether you wanted an attachment Attach the document to the email or not that is one setting and what is the column that contains an email? So I have selected email, C, C email as the column. You can see that C email is here, client email. 
so once that is done and then you just have to set up the green columns that is cc if you wanted to put a cc if you have any other column with email id you can specify that right now in my case i don't have any so i'm leaving it as a blank so this is the my subject line this is my even in the subject line if you wanted the name of the uh, client you can also specify i'll just specify l name last name <clears throat> that is what the name that we mentioned it here l name we just need to mention that and here dear l name uh, dear dear and then it will be substituted with the last name print for, please find attached is your new mortgage rate please feel free to contact this is what the email i just typed and now once the settings is done i'll come back and click on send emails okay email send completed now we just have to refresh this ah it's a send or receive is in progress because um, this is what it is using let me see the sent mails uh, it is 516 yes it is sending okay now let's go back and see this this is the one we just log out import main watch the mails has not come what is my settings outlook um cc email client email yes everything is right yeah there are two emails you can see this one it took a bit little bit of time but it has come here so <clears throat> this is the one we can open up and uh, see you can see that i did not attach the here i left it blank now i'll click on attach and then again send email okay emails are sent <clears throat> Now let's go back and check emails. It's taking a bit of time, but we'll get it. We need to get two more emails that are sent now. Okay, it is sending. okay it will send we will check it in a, after a minute in the meantime i'll going to explain you how to use the smtp settings here i'm using smtp smtp again we have to use the um, smtp details here i'll use my own and the password smtp server and the port Mm, SMTP server for me my server this it is this one I'll use this SMTP server and the port number is 465 so using this SMTP we can uh, I'll just mark as no attachment and uh, send email So you can see we should get all these emails now. Yeah, you can see all these five emails are received here. This is through SMTP and this is through my Outlook. This is from SMTP. That's it. I'll just open up and show you one with the attachment also. Yeah, this is the one. This is the PDF file that is attached. <clears throat> 